Hello everyone, this is Rose and Metapina and I'm going to share with you uh, infant bathing as one of the NC2 caregiving skills. So first, we have to perform hand washing. So make sure to perform hand washing. And close all the curtains and make sure to check the aircon and the temperature. Make sure to check the electric fan and wear the clean gloves. Gather all the materials needed including the thermometer, the three station includes the towel in the back of the baby, sets of diaper, first is a diaper that has been spoiled, and gloves from the start of the procedure, gloves for head cleaning. So first, we have to um, assemble the three stations with you fit the most, and there are three stations, the soiled material station, the clean material station, and the tap, and get the infant from the crib or from the mother. Go back to the workstation and check the uh, temperature of the baby. So the initial checking of the temperature will be on the rectal part because rectal temperature is used for initial checking of the temperature to check for the perforated anus or there might be a congenital disorder. So after that, uh, on the second time of checking the temperature, it should be on the axillary or the armpit part. And then put the legs in an upward position for one to two minutes and wait until the thermometer beep or sounds. That's it. And And then also wipe the mercury bulb or the copper part with the cotton to check and record the result. If in case the infant has fever, perform only the TSB procedure or the tepid sponge bath or lukewarm water with the use of alcohol. That is wiping only uh, with the use of uh, a clean, uh, clean cloth. So after checking of the temperature, put the thermometer into the right place. And that's it. We will going to have um checking of the diaper if had it has been soiled so in case it has been soiled wipe the infant's butt from the butthole downwards and put the diaper under the table and get a new diaper and make it only anchor in the baby only if in case of emergency so first perform hand washing and wear clean gloves before head cleaning so before head cleaning check the temperature of the water using the elbow and it's a mass of 29.4 Celsius. So first, um, the head part, head cleaning. Wet the head of the infant and put the wet water to the basin to avoid uh, wasting time. And then make a meat and then wipe the head with wet meat. And make sure it's really wet and show that you will rinse well the meat and squeeze it carefully. And then get the soap or bar soap, rub the soap in a circular motion, and put the towel on your on the left shoulder and make sure that you will position the baby on the area when you will bathe him or, or her on the tab. So protect the ears of the baby while rinsing and rinse the head. Then after bathing on the tab, put the infant on the first counter. So first counter is the soiled counter. So again, that's the procedure. Okay. And put the baby on the first counter, which is the soil counter. And then pat dry with the towel. So put the towel in the right place.
and we will going to clean the face. So wipe the eyes using the cotton and we have the stroke S. We have stroke S. So S is one side of the forehead to the cheeks, to the other side of the cheeks, uh, to under the face. And then the stroke uh, A is over the nose. As stroke A is around the nose. And then after that is the C, the stroke C, uh, and the small C. And then use cotton in the face. And that's it. So we will go after the face. Uh, the upper extremities will be the next. And then groom the upper root of the baby and make a me. Wetting um, of the upper extremities using the stroke um, of Five strokes, including the armpit. So that's it. Other side. And do it on the other side of the upper extremities as well. So make sure after wetting, show that the meat is carefully rinsed after soaping. Same after soaping. So that's it. And you can also use the meat for soaping the hands of the baby. So... Take note, um, in cleaning the upper extremities, there is no rinsing. Repeat the procedure on the other hands. Include the hands of the baby in soaping. So next is the infant torso. So for cleaning the infant torso, um, includes the neck, the chest, and the abdomen part of the baby. And um, important reminders, the edge of the meat is used for cleaning the neck. So one wipe on the neck and one wipe on the collar. And don't include the navel. So, and include the side of the baby in wetting and soaping. So that's it. And uh, use the different side of the meat in cleaning the chest. From the chest to the abdomen. So there's no rinsing also in the infant torso. So the next is the lower extremity. So on groom the lower pants, this includes the leg and the foot for five strokes. So no extreme pressure because of the baby's skin is sensitive. So for this procedure in lower extremities, there is only wetting and soaping. So there is no rinsing. So after that, We will um, clean the back of the baby. So again, make a meat. Move the infant on the side to clean the back. And use horizontal stroke to clean the back of the baby. So make sure to use the different side of the meat. Then um, soaping into circular motion. And then bring back to the original position. And then the nape is included in wetting and soaping. Important reminders at the cleaning at the back. The back part is time bound. So you should be time conscious. So this is um, the time to rinse the baby. So position the baby on the said shoulder where the towel has been placed. And groom the diaper before rinsing. Get the baby from the soiled counter. And then rinse. And get additional soap for hands, for food, and for the genitals. Get the baby into the burping position. And then wrap the baby with a towel. And then position the baby into the second counter, which is the clean station. But try the baby. And put the new diaper and closed. And lock the diaper. If you prefer to put some bondage, it's all right. And then um, dress the baby with the upper robe, the lower robe, 
the hat, the, cla the cloth shoes and boots, and the cloth hand gloves. And then wrap the baby with a new dry towel that has been placed in the second station. So, and then um, after, after you have uh, groomed the baby, put the baby into the burping position. And then put the baby on the crib or bring back to their mothers. And then we have uh, also the aftercare. So put the baby in the crib and dispose the disposable materials. Clean the area. Bring back the linen on the original position and, and wear the gloves. And perform hand washing. And also document the procedure. And also we have all um, additional important reminders. So tab throughout the process is no changing of water. And then two times of changing the water in the basin and I'm sure assume that the water changed. After cleaning the hands and the feet of the and the feet of the baby changed the water. And then use lactoseed blue for cleaning the baby. After rinse um after infant bathing, the bottle cleaning and bottle sterilization are different sets. And the tea spongebob or tepid spongebob is used when the baby has fever. And also we have to prepare English spills uh, on the assessment and lastly is you have to document the process so that's it and that is infant painting and i hope you've learned from this so thank you and god bless